Hi! So today I want to show you how you can create a split screen mode for your game. Like you can see on screen right here. You can see I'm currently controlling the red character and its camera with it. And if I swap over to my DS4 controller, I can control the green character now. Move around and there we go. So let's take a look on how this is made. So to start out with, I have a simple scene with some geometry, there's some grass here, a uh, pipe there, and my two characters, one in red, one in green. Now each of these characters, as you can see, has a camera of its own. By default, only the first one in the hierarchy is actually going to be shown. So currently that is player 1. So if I turn this on, we can see the camera is going to follow player 1. And player 2 is just standing over there, I can move it, but it's not going to turn any camera. Now for the setup here, how the separate cameras are controlled, I have a uh, simple setting in the input map here, of course you can customize that a bunch, where really I'm just saying there are separate inputs for player 1 and player 2 which uses the DS4. In a finished game, of course, you would want to make that a lot more dynamic, where whatever it is you started the game with would be player 1, and player 2 is then the opposite thing, or something of that sort. Anyway, now that we have these two, let's get them into a split screen. First of all, I'm going to add a control node, so the same as for a user interface, and I'm giving this an HBox container. This way I can put two things next to each other. This uses full rectangle. So does this. And inside my HBox container I want two viewport container nodes. Set this one to size flex expand. Create a second one. Uh, let's set them to stretch as well because we can. I will just make sure that the viewport is actually going to be the same size as our viewport container. Now let's actually add the viewport. Now viewport node by default isn't really a specific size. Our viewport container is going to give it a size, otherwise we would have to set one here. But in our case this should be fine. Now currently if we were to run this nothing is actually going to be happening there, it's just black. It's trying to render these two viewports, and you can see there's a little gap in between. But the two viewports don't have any cameras associated with them yet. The way we can fix that is we can just drag the two players in there. Now each player has a camera attached to it, and this camera is going to be connected to the nearest viewport. The viewport isn't automatically getting a size right now, which is a bit annoying. There we go, that updates it. So just to update it, I just click the expand thing off and on again, because this wasn't really an issue with the thing not existing, but just go dot not updating the viewport yet. Bit of a glitch. So let's see, I want to get rid of this little gap in between, so I'm going on the HBox container, custom constants, and set the separation to zero. Of course, instead you can increase it or set it to whatever, if you want some graphic to overlay there, maybe a bit of separation would help, but right now I just want it to be zero. And we have this effect. I can move this one separately, look around, I can move this one separately, look around as well. That's really all there is to this. Of course, instead of having these two viewports, you can really go as far as you want here. As you can see, if I click the player, even though it's inside of a UI node and stuff like that, you can still place it inside of the 3D environment it's part of. So let's say I want to make a copy of this whole thing. Now I have a copy of the player, I can move it over there. It's going to follow the same controls, of course. And now we have, let's see... Now we have two cameras for the red player. And only one for the green one, which can look at the two red players. So this way you can get all kinds of patterns here. We can change the thing to have a, let's see, V-Box container. Give that some size flags. Give this the same ones. Yeah, yeah, you shut up. 
And now you can see what happens. The two red players are up on the upper row of the viewports. And down below we have the green one which can be controlled separately. Of course in reality you wouldn't really want two of them for the same player, but instead add more different player layouts however you want to do this. So technically you could set this up to work with multiple controllers and have one corner of the screen for each player with a variable amount of players available. So that will be all for today. Bye!